All right, welcome to another episode of Always Invest. This is season one, episode number three. So first thing I want to start off with is uh, tell someone you know about investing so you won't be walking this journey alone. If you got to walk it alone, then uh, do so uh, as well as uh, if you're looking, listening to this content, I'm always available uh, for you to book a, a free session with me. You could do so on willbitterstock.tv. You go there and book a free investment entry, entry, uh, introduction to investment uh, meeting. So uh, another thing I wanted to remind you to is don't don't trust your wealth. Trust how you manage it. So as the money come in, don't let that change who you are. Just trust how you make uh, make moves with it and continue to build with that. Don't uh, be content and don't become complacent. We always trying to get better. We always trying to grow. And uh, I just want to remind you to practice sustainable investment. You know, how you could align your investment with your values and make positive impact on the environment and society. So you want to invest in the products that go along with your belief. Uh, if you don't drink, then don't breath, don't invest in alcohol just because you see that it may be profitable or doing good. For me, uh, I don't smoke marijuana. I don't knock nobody to do it, but I won't invest in a uh, marijuana company because I don't support that. And uh, there's certain other companies I just, I don't want to invest in, but for the most part, every company that I do invest in is a company that I uh, believe in. I think they're doing something good for the environment and uh, at the same time profitable as well. There's other ways you can invest. You could explore like investing with uh, artificial intelligence. You know, they got apps now that can uh, basically automate your investment. You tell them what your goal is, what you want to do, and uh, they could they could make it done for you. You can invest in cybersecurity, healthcare, and you can uh, discuss investment opportunities that they that they present. So it's plenty of ways to ver diversify your portfolio. Uh, you got alternative investments. Got uh. One thing that's big, you know, is non-traditional assets like real estate, cryptocurrencies or commodities and their uh, potential risks and rewards. And it's always uh, risks and rewards, uh, especially with like real estate, especially if it's like a rental property. You got to think about what if the people don't pay rent. So it's platforms that you can invest into where you can invest into real land. And you can invest into like housing. Uh, they got apps that could do that. You can invest into um, commercial property. You can invest into uh, uh, virtual property. It's a platform that I use that allowed me to buy virtual property using real addresses and real locations, but it's just on virtual. So you buy virtual. So I actually bought my location and uh, attend about more. So with so many different things you could do, uh, if you're in the hobbies, you can invest into like um, certain collectibles. Uh, you got NFTs or something that's new. You got like, uh, if you if you into like uh, collecting sports cards and stuff, they got uh, platforms now where you could, you could uh, invest into highlights and hold on to those. And, trade and some highlights are being sold for thousands of dollars, some of them for about a dollar. So there's so many ways you could do different investing and you don't have to just do it in one way. Uh, you can invest in the cryptocurrency. Um, it's a lot of uh, risk to that, but uh, one of the main trusted cryptocurrencies that has been trusted and been out for a while is uh, Doge, not Doge, but Bitcoin. And Bitcoin is actually uh, up right now. So uh, you got to uh, ma also manage your debt, you know what I'm saying? So that's part of investing. So if you could get rid of debt, you could free up more more ways and more income to invest. 
So you want to uh, free up debt, you want to cancel debt, pay off student loans, pay off mortgages, definitely pay off those credit cards, and uh, keep your credit score up. All of that helps out if you could free up money that you have to uh, that you could that you don't have to spend. You could invest in more, and then you want to have practical steps of building your wealth. You want to pick a number, a number that you gonna uh, use for the rest of your life to be sustained for the rest of your life. What I tell people is, if you pick a number, you want to double that because. We want to we want to invest for the, for the rest of our life. We want to keep investing, so we want to have what we want to have. Our goal to live off of, and at the same time, we want to keep money in our investments. And like you, like I say, I, I invest in dividends uh, mostly. Uh, we want to have side hustles, other ways to you know generate wealth. Um, I work full time, but at the same time, I run a business. Uh, I do content creating. Uh, I do podcasts. As you see, I'm doing this. I do uh, meetings as well. So there's so many other things I do with my time to kind of like keep them streams coming in. Oh, I, I make music, so many different other things. So uh, you always got to think about extra income and ways to boost your financial security. And you want to invest into, you know, psychology. You invest into your mental health. You want to invest into your emotions. Uh, you don't want to be an emotional investor. So when when you're feeling down, you want to sell. When you're feeling up, you want to buy. But you want to make sure that you research the products that you're trying to purchase and uh, really be comfortable with your choice and be patient with the process. And you got to remember, you got to have your own risk tolerance. Like, what, what are you willing to risk when it comes to this money? Like, what are you willing to give? What are you willing to uh, allow a loss? How much you willing to lose before you decide to pull the plug? And uh, I would say too, don't put all your, your income, don't put all your hope in one, into one product. It's good to have a good goal and a one that's good, but don't put everything into one asset, spread it out. I, I like to spread it out so much to where if I could forget about it, I will, which I don't, with well, some of them I do, but not necessarily like the amount or whatever, but I just like to put it away. Don't even think about it. And before you know it, 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 it come back a hundredfold. And then you want to have a long-term investment goal. So you want to develop long-term goals and stay disciplined and miss the volatility uh, of the market. And uh, always invest. I just give you little points here and there that that I could that you could take for free, you know, and help you along your way. But if you're really, really serious about that, you get more in debt with uh, your portfolio and your strategy on how to attain wealth. You get more in debt if you set up a meeting. So if this right here was helpful for you, all you got to do is subscribe to the channel, like, follow, share. And uh, go to www.willbuilderstock.tv and book on uh, book dash online and set up a meeting. If you feel like investment for you and you think I can help you, go there and set up a meeting for free. I'm willing to give you three free meetings, three free meetings. So take me up on that. Uh, that has concluded this episode in and out. Didn't want to take too much of your time. But uh, look forward to the next episode. You can also locate the uh, previous episodes in the description. Appreciate you. Until next time, always invest.